As we embark on the profound journey of spiritual awakening, it's akin to stepping into a realm of self-discovery and heightened awareness. This transformative experience goes beyond the surface, delving into the depths of our being and the intricate tapestry of the world around us. Picture it as a journey where, as travelers on this path, we may find ourselves subtly expressing certain behaviors and possessing unique qualities, often without immediate recognition. It's like an unconscious unveiling of aspects within us that align with the profound shifts occurring on this spiritual odyssey. Now, let's delve into the essence of this transformative expedition by exploring three pivotal attributes commonly exhibited by those who have embarked on the path of spiritual awakening. These characteristics serve as beacons illuminating the way for individuals undergoing a metamorphosis in their understanding of self and the interconnectedness of existence. Number 1. Understanding the depth of life, a person who is spiritually awake realizes that life is much more complex and meaningful than it appears at first glance. They sense that the cycle of birth, living, and death is not the entirety of existence. Deep within their heart, they feel there's something more, something beyond what is visible or easily understood. This awareness makes them curious and eager to explore the hidden layers of life. Imagine these individuals as seekers, always in pursuit of deeper meanings that transcend the surface of existence. Their keen eyes are attuned to subtle signs and symbols, acting as gateways to understanding that resonate with their innermost being. For them, life is more than what meets the eye, it's a tapestry woven with unseen forces and profound truths that operate just beyond the veil of common perception. This recognition fuels their insatiable curiosity, propelling them to explore realms not immediately visible or easily explainable. Consider their pursuit as a relentless yearning to unravel the mysteries of the universe. It's not merely an academic pursuit but a spiritual odyssey to comprehend the laws governing existence and to penetrate the enigmatic spiritual realms that captivate and, at times, intimidate many. These seekers are drawn to the cosmic mysteries that extend far beyond the concerns of everyday life, engaging in discussions about extraterrestrial life, the secrets of distant galaxies, and the mysteries surrounding life after death. Number 2. Valuing Solitude and Inner Peace In the realm of spiritual awakening, the concept of solitude transcends mere preference, it becomes a fundamental and vital aspect of one's life. Imagine solitude not as a temporary escape but as an essential, cherished opportunity for profound self-discovery. When these individuals find themselves unable to engage in the depth of meaningful conversations, solitude becomes a sanctuary. It's not a source of concern for them, instead, it's a treasured space where they can delve into the vast expanse of their thoughts and reflections. This isn't just about being alone, it's about fostering a deep, intimate connection with oneself. In their solitude, they navigate the corridors of self-understanding with a sense of comfort and insight. This solitary journey isn't a lonely expedition but a rewarding and enriching experience. It's in these moments of self-reflection that they strengthen their bond with their inner self, fostering a profound and loving relationship. Picture it as a sacred communion with the essence of who they are. Solitude, for the spiritually awakened, isn't an escape from the world, it's an immersive dive into the vast landscapes of their own being, a place where the richness of self-discovery unfolds. Such individuals often recharge and find joy in their moments of solitude, allowing them to feel more alive and connected with their true selves. This is why they frequently choose to spend time alone, prioritizing it over many social activities. Typical social gatherings like parties, clubs, or bars often hold little appeal for them. They find little interest in the gossip and superficial conversations that frequently dominate these environments. Instead, they prefer environments and activities that align with their deeper interests and inner peace. Imagine a scenario where the bustling energy of loud, crowded places becomes more than just an inconvenience, for those spiritually awakened, it's an experience that drains their inner vitality. 
Instead, they find solace in the serene embrace of quiet and tranquil spaces, think nature reserves, beaches, parks, and libraries. These environments align seamlessly with their innate need for calm and contemplation. Choosing solitude isn't an escape from the social buzz but a deliberate decision rooted in a profound grasp of personal well-being. Amidst the chaos of daily life, they make it a priority to nurture both their physical and emotional health or relish the liberating tranquility found in their own company. While the idea of being alone may daunt others, for them, it's not just navigable but actively sought after. This intentional embrace of solitude isn't a withdrawal into loneliness, it's an indispensable element of their spiritual journey and holistic well-being. They understand that in these solitary moments, a deep connection unfurls, not only with themselves but also with the expansive universe or their concept of the divine. It's a conscious endeavor to move beyond the surface of solitude and immerse themselves in a more profound and meaningful connection with self, the cosmos, or the divine essence they hold close to their hearts. Within the sanctity of their homes, especially when enveloped by the solitude of an unoccupied space, they discover a sanctuary. It's more than just a physical location, it's a sacred interval when they can genuinely be themselves. Engaging in activities that nurture their spirit, like meditation, transforms from a mere routine into a deeply cherished ritual. It's a time when external disturbances fade, allowing them to cultivate a serene internal landscape. As for discernment and seeking truth, the spiritually awakened approach information with a critical and discerning gaze. They don't merely accept what they're told without questioning it. While appreciating diverse perspectives, they prioritize uncovering the truth firsthand. This approach mirrors a profound dedication to authenticity and comprehension. They hold personal experience and direct observation in high regard, seeking to witness or experience something firsthand before wholeheartedly embracing it. They are diligent about checking sources and verifying facts, often turning to reliable sources to confirm the accuracy of information. When it comes to mainstream media, such as the news, they tend to be skeptical. They are aware that news can sometimes be filled with negativity, misleading information, or fear-inducing stories. To maintain their mental and spiritual well-being, they often choose to limit their exposure to such content, preferring sources that they consider more unbiased and truthful. Delving into the quest for truth isn't just an exploration of the external world but an inward journey. Being introspective and engaging in deep analysis and contemplation allows me to unravel the mysteries around me. This meditative nature shields me from accepting things at face value or being swayed by popular opinions. Applying critical thinking extends beyond the world, it infiltrates my life choices, urging me to constantly evaluate and reevaluate actions to ensure they align with my truth and values. It's not just about comprehending the world better, it's a profound journey of self-discovery, striving to live authentically. Moreover, my spiritually awakened self nurtures a sense of equality and fairness in every interaction, irrespective of social or professional status. I fundamentally understand that beyond external appearances, we are all human. Authority figures don't automatically command my deference solely due to their positions, everyone, regardless of rank, deserves the same level of respect and dignity. It's not about disrespect or causing trouble, my approach to authority is rooted in a commitment to truth and authenticity. Questioning what I'm told, regardless of the source, sometimes puts me at odds with those in authority unaccustomed to challenge. Yet, for me, questioning and seeking the truth are intrinsic aspects of my nature. I don't accept statements without scrutiny, if something feels unjust or untrue, I stand against it, even if it means going against prevailing norms. My belief in equality extends to my actions, assisting someone in a lower-ranking position is as natural as helping someone at the top of the hierarchy. My approach to people is consistently egalitarian, treating everyone with equal respect. 
My rebellious tendencies aren't about rebellion for its own sake, they stem from maintaining integrity, seeking truth, and upholding a belief in universal equality and respect. This worldview naturally propels me to challenge inequalities and injustices, standing up for what I believe is right, regardless of societal norms or expectations. In essence, these qualities are not a result of conscious cultivation but an organic emergence in my journey of inner growth and understanding. I trust you found something valuable in today's reflections. If it resonates, share it with someone who might benefit. I'm eager to hear your thoughts and experiences, so please share them in the comments below. Wishing you a day filled with authenticity and enlightenment.